In this video, we demonstrate how we can use UVCDAT in MistyMIP, the multi-scale synthesis and terrestrial intercomparison project, to analyze climate data using a combination of InfoViz and SciViz techniques backed by comprehensive provenance information. We start by creating a monthly long-term mean plot for a single benchmark NPP model. After selecting the data we want to use, we set the time bounds to monthly data. Then we perform a climatological monthly means spatial aggregate. And finally, a statistical mean time average. The CDMS YXVX plot renders the single model monthly long-term mean. Meanwhile, a VizTrails workflow is generated automatically. This workflow is modified and used to compare several models in a series plot. The data processing steps are combined into a sub-workflow that can be run many times on different models. A config reader module is added to read multiple data files. The map module works like a loop, performing the data processing steps on each file. Before going into the series plot, the data are converted into matrices. A Python source module with a few lines of code accomplishes this task. Lastly, the series plot and cell location modules are added to complete the workflow. After executing, we tag this version in the history view so it's easier to find in the future. Back in UVCDAT, we can see the results. Next, a dimensionality reduction visualization is added to give an alternate perspective on the similarity of the benchmark models. This requires adding isomap and 2D projection modules to the existing pipeline, adding a new cell location, and re-executing. Lastly, we add a coordinator module to link interaction between the plots. Selecting models that are nearby in the lower plot highlights them in the upper plot, verifying their similarity, likewise for far out models. Meanwhile, VizTrails was keeping records of workflow executions, recording the time and state of every workflow module that was executed which can be explored in this view. Likewise, every version of the workflow was saved as we were building it, allowing us to revisit previous versions and branch off in new directions if desired.